So we're still looking at fallouts from the president's 10th address on COVID-19. This time around on education, NAGRAT and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers say they will not hesitate to withdraw their teachers on the day of school reopening if government fails to fumigate and provide sanitizers to protect teachers as well as students. The two major unions say failure to provide these items will compromise the safety of teachers and students that will have dire consequences on academic work. NAGRAT and the Coalition of Consent Teachers Ghana were reacting to the directive by the president and Ekufado to open schools from June 22 for senior high schools. According to the president of NAGRAT, Angel Kabonu, he is apprehensive about the reopening of the schools for the JHS-3 and SHS-3 students. He said if government fails to provide hand sanitizers and fumigate the various schools, academic work will be affected. While some parents are willing to send their children to school, others are also are planning to hold back. I think that what we have now, we should give parents and students the choice because uh, to decide whether their kids should go and finish up now or their kids to wait until such a time that we know the in and out of this uh, uh, viral situation. But it is a very, very catch-22 situation that we find ourselves in. According to the communications director of CCT Ghana, Adokwe Awili, teachers will not be allowed to teach if proper measures are not instituted before their reopening day. These things are not provided. We will not let our teachers go to the schools. For that one, we are sure of that. If the nose max, hand sanitizers, Veronica buckets, and availability of water, and then spacing of the classrooms, if all these things are not followed, as the president has said, then we will not allow our teachers to go to the school. Both NAGRAT and the Coalition of Concerned Teachers asked government to ensure the safety of teachers and students. Teachers are very uncomfortable that they are at home. Very, very uncomfortable. There is no professional who, who, who prefers to be at home rather than at work to do what he or she has been trained professionally for. Because of the COVID-19, everybody is not happy. But we have to ensure that uh, life still goes on. And we also have to help in one way or the other. In spite of that, we have to ensure that everybody is safe.